<clears throat> so today we're going to look at these, uh, these letters in the book from page 7. And there's a few of them, and they're all equally terrible. Um, so we're going to have a look through them. So first of all, page 7, reference 1. It's talking again. Now these are just example letters, then we're going to do the reading uh, comprehension exercise afterwards. So number 1. Now as you can see, um, straight away there's a big problem with it, which I'm assuming that you'll, uh, you'll spot for yourselves. Um, I have Lemon Glen was for 10 years. He has always been a pancake, hard worker, and will never let anyone down. He has had a member of different jobs, and he has always done something his heart. To do that is asked of him. He has proven himself on the sports field in soccer and tennis. Uh, he has captained uh, many teams uh, when he is not something uh, doing research on playing soccer or tennis, he is doing research on his computer. He is well liked by everyone he comes into contract with. I wish him all the feet in his chosen career. Okay, so straight away, the first problem here is handwriting. Um, it's not very good, so we can't really read it. Handwritten letters are always, always bad. Um, you should never send a professional formal letter in your own handwriting for this reason. It's, it's unreadable. Um, a lot of the words don't make any sense. There's lots of crossing out. Um, to whom it may concern, it's a reference letter. Um, he's always been a hard worker, prove it. Offer proof, don't offer me opinion. I don't care about your opinion, offer me some proof. Uh, never let anyone down that you know of. Um, he's had a number of jobs uh, and he's always done his best um, to do what he's asked of him. To do your best means you failed. If I say, uh, oh, he always does his best, it's a polite way of saying he doesn't achieve anything. And that's, that's the truth. It's like saying, uh, I think. I think is a way of saying, I don't know. Okay, so look between the lines when people talk to you. If somebody says, I think, it means I don't know. And if they say he's always tried to do his best, it means he didn't always do very well. Okay? Um, he's proven himself on the soccer field and the tennis court. Who cares? I, I don't care. I, if I'm hiring somebody for a job in a shop or an office, the last thing I care about is whether he can kick a ball. So who, who cares? Why are you telling me this? This is irrelevant. Um, so this is a really poor reference. I'm guessing this would be a family reference rather than a, a professional one. This is a character reference from someone um, who's basically character assassinated you by just handing in a terrible reference letter. This is an example, and, and, and the book is trying to do this. This is an example of how not to do it. Um, your references, and we went through this a lot in, uh, in my last grade 10, 11, uh, which you guys didn't do. Um, this is uh, a warning for you all. This is. A warning of how badly wrong you can get it. Um, this kind of reference letter, not your fault. You've asked someone to do it for you, give a reference to prove that you're a good person, and that can kill your chances. Okay, so you be very careful. Now, my advice would be you've got two choices with a family reference or a personal reference. You've got two choices. Either number one, go with somebody who is better than you at writing. Um, ask somebody that you can absolutely trust to do a good job. Secondly, your other option is to write it yourself. Download um, a reference off the internet, uh, get a good one, go through it, make it your own, and then ask them to sign it. Um, that will give you the best chance of getting it right. Print it off, get them to sign it, copy that, send that on as your reference. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with this, and people are gonna look at that and say, well, okay, it's poorly written, uh, and it also tells me something else. Because it's handwritten, this means that this person has not sent a lot of references, they haven't applied for a lot of jobs. Okay, this tells me a lot about the person and none of it's good. Okay, so this is probably someone we're not going to look at. Now, I've told you before, in, in recruitment, we look to get rid of as many um, people that we don't want as quickly as possible. This is going to be straight in the bin. Okay, it doesn't matter how good the CV is, we're not getting past this. Okay, so this goes in the bin. This is a poor choice. This shows, this shows bad judgment on the on the person who chose this to send it into us. We don't want this person. They're not ready to work for us. Okay, that's harsh, but that's how the world is. The world is not um, snowflakes and lollipops. Uh, so let's have a look at reference two on page eight. Um, 
1st of December 2003. Much has changed since then. Uh, Ko Fong Long has worked with this company for two years. He began as an assistant salesperson, has been promoted to salesperson in the started as an assistant salesperson, sorry, promoted to salesperson in the time he's been with us. His decision to leave the company is based on his need to get sales experience in different fields. He has taken on further education as part of his career plan. Fu Long is a confident communicator and has taken on roles such as chairing the weekly sales meeting. I found him to be an enthusiastic and dedicated worker. He has always accepted any challenge given to him and worked independently to solve the problems he faced. I do not hesitate to recommend him to any prospective employer, Masreed bin Shahid. And this is a much better one. Now you don't have much choice when it comes to professional references. All you can do is hope that your manager is competent. That's really all you can do. This is pretty good. Worked with the company for several years. He began as a lower uh, person. He's been promoted to a higher person. That's always good to know. Uh, his decision to leave the company, that's always good as well, is based on his need to get sales experience. So they're giving you a good reason why he's looking to move on. He's looking for better prospects. It's the same thing when I buy a motorcycle. First question you ask, why are you selling it? Because no one sells something good, okay? I've got uh, five of the things and I'm selling one. What I'm doing is selling the worst of them. That's what we do. Why are you leaving your job is a very important question. They've answered that in the text. I found him to be an enthusiastic and dedicated worker, um, accepted and challenge given to him, uh, independent, uh, worked independently to solve the problems he faced. This is a very good reference. We like this one a lot, okay. Um, number three, to whom it may concern. This is to uh, certify that I have known Ramin bin Mahmood, same person, okay, uh, for a period of 16 years. Raman has grown into a well-mannered teenager who respects his parents and takes on the responsibility of caring for his four younger siblings. He has had ample opportunity to show maturity and resourcefulness throughout his growing years, and these skills will help him in the work situation. His family has high principles and standards, and these are reflected in Rahman's upbringing and his present conduct. He worked hard in his studies at school and has done very well, particularly in English. He has also served as prefect on the Students' Council in his school and has chosen to be Students' Council Committee member. He received a citizenship award in his final years for his services to the Students' Council. I am sure he will serve any employer to the best of his abilities. I fully recommend him and wish him all the best for the future. Ong Wee Ping. This again is a very good um, uh, letter of reference. This is a, a family or friend, um, presumably a, a member of the family. Um, it's a little bit too personal in places. I've known him for 16 years. He's a well-mannered teenager who respects his parents. I don't care if you respect your parents. Um, maybe that's not something. And he goes on about it several times. Um, his family has high principles and standards. Okay, it's a little bit too much, but um, you can tell that this person believes in what he's writing. Um, my, my larger concern would be the signature, W.P. Ong. It looks like a child with broken fingers wrote it with a crayon, um, but it's a small thing. Um, this student is obviously pretty good, um, studied well at school, uh, done very well, citizenship award, been in charge of the uh, prefect on the student council. This is a hard worker who's struggling to do better than he did before. These are fantastic attributes and qualities that we want to see in a potential worker. If I've got two workers coming in, uh, one of them is an idiot who plays video games and one of them's this guy, it's an easy choice for me, okay? Um, um, number four, page nine. I have pleasure in providing the reference for Christine Chong of 43 Sandy Bay Road, Singapore. She has worked for this company for two years, originally being employed on a temporary basis to carry out the specific task of setting up and updating databases of book stock. My God, that sounds incredibly dull. The job required meticulous attention to detail and tended to be very tedious. See, I'm right. She was required to work on her own with limited supervision. She carried out her work diligently and efficiently, and as a result, the company decided to retain her services on a permanent basis. Her job scope was expanded and she reported directly to me. Additional requirements of her job included reporting to the sales staff on existing and incoming stock, handling phone and letter inquiries from customers, and training in a new staff member to manage the database. I've been very impressed with her skill and initiative in identifying problems and suggesting ways to overcome them. 
She has demonstrated patience and control in the way she communicates with the public through telephone calls and letters. Some situations have been very difficult to handle because customers were upset and angry. However, due to Christine's outstanding public, public relations skills, I have received more than one letter of appreciation from satisfied customers after Christine has solved their problems. It goes on. Um, Christine is now choosing, uh, showing her leadership qualities as she trains a new staff member to manage the database. She leads in a uh, friendly and encouraging manner. Christine is also taking on some responsibility, more responsibilities, in sales meetings by taking the minutes and sending them out to her participants. Christine has shown herself to be intelligent, dedicated and completely trustworthy. Work requirements involving more responsibility and higher level administration skills would provide the challenge she now needs. Oh, okay, too long. When it comes to, this is something I mentioned before in the introduction. Um, enough information, but not too much. This is too much. We've gone way, way too over the top. Uh, this is a professional reference, and it's from someone that likes to type. This is someone who's either madly in love with her or uh, wants to get rid of her. There's something not quite right here. This is way, way too much. This person likes to talk, probably a show off. Someone who's um, very proud of themselves. I'm very proud of getting this person through this, this training. Um, she's had a few minor um, promotions. Um, she's, she's gone from the job she did to a better job. Thank God, otherwise she would have died of a, a coma from sheer boredom. Um, she's done a little bit better. She's, um, she's solved a few problems. She's training a member of staff. I have received more than one letter, so two then. Look through the lines. Um, some people try and bullshit you, and this, this is doing that. This is trying to give you um, a, a slightly false impression. Um, if the guy really did get his citizenship award, I'd be much more interested in person one than person two. We've got a few very minor improvements in Christine from point one to point two. They're not huge, and they're trying to make them seem larger than they really are, uh, whereas the other one, uh, he's been promoted from one job to another which is a much more uh, involved thing. He's taking control of meetings, she's taking notes in meetings. He's doing better than she is. But look through the lines yourself. Read between the lines, look into what the letter actually says, because a lot of people will try and give you a, um, a false impression. And then finally, reference five, we've got a certificate of service. Um, not very important, um, but what I'd want to see is, um, we've got uh, Mahmood, I think it's Mahoud Mahmood, um, has got a citizenship award. I want to see proof of that. I'd like to see proof of him being a prefect on the school council. Um, any kind of proof of that, I mean, a, a YouTube video, Facebook page, a certificate from school, any of those things I would look for to see that this is actually true. Because I could say the same thing. I could tell you that when I was back in England, I was a CEO of a major corporation. You, you, you don't know if that's true or not. Uh, it's not, but you, you don't know. I can say anything I want. Uh, a lot of people, most people, 99% of people won't check. Uh, as an example of this, I had a friend back in the UK who had a criminal record for armed robbery and he applied for a job, got the job, did very well. And um, he said, uh, I saw him do a, um, the application and he just said, no criminal record. And he said, I've got two choices. I either lie and have a chance of getting the job or tell the truth and have no chance of getting the job. So I'm gonna lie. And they never caught him because most people never check. Um, so be ready to check on all of these things. Um, with Christine, it wouldn't be possible to check um, any further than the person who wrote this, this uh, letter because none of this is real. She hasn't got a certificate of anything, she's not had any promotions, we've not had anything really real happen to her, so all we've got is the word of this person who obviously likes her and is obviously going to uh, say that these things are true. So be careful of that. So look through these things and what you're looking for is proof. You're not looking for supposition. She's very intelligent. Now you've got to note the difference between opinion and fact. She's very intelligent is an opinion. Now what about if the person saying that is an idiot? They don't, un anyone that's smarter than them seems intelligent. What about if that person can't tie their own shoelaces? Everyone looks smart to them. So be very careful. Some people think uh, anyone that agrees with them is intelligent. So it's, it's not the truth, it's an opinion. It's, it's um, subjective, not objective. What you're looking for is objective facts. Now, objective facts are things that can be proved. Subjective means it cannot be proved. It's your opinion. So we're not looking for this. This is subjective. This is objective. So we're looking for objective facts. We've been given subjective opinions. That's what you've got to separate out. 
fact from fiction. Now, it may be that all of these things about Christina are true. We don't know because we've got no proof of any of them. We want certificates, we want evidence, we want uh, promotions, we want to be able to see different job titles, we want to see all of those things. What we don't want to see is somebody saying, this person's great, I like them, they're very good. Um, now in terms of references, you're normally going to be asked for two, a uh, personal reference and a professional reference. The personal reference, um, I would suggest anybody that doesn't have your surname is okay. The more professional, the better, I would go for um, doctors, uh, accountants, God I hate accountants, uh, lawyers, that sort of thing. Somebody with a professional title in their job, um, ideally doesn't share your surname, it means nothing coming from your mum. It means nothing. But if it's coming from an uncle who doesn't share your surname, who's also um, um, a lawyer, that means something. Okay, so look for those kind of people. We don't take them too seriously because of course you're not going to choose someone that says, yeah he's my cousin but he's an idiot. No one's going to say that, no one's going to put that on. Um, so obviously don't use those. Um, we don't look at those too closely. What we look at then is the professional reference. Uh, in England it's illegal to give a bad reference. So you're only allowed to give a positive reference or refuse a reference. So a refusal is basically their way of saying don't hire this person. If there's a serious problem, uh, what, what normally happens is the recruiter will phone their previous manager and say what's going on and they will say off the record, on the phone where it's not recorded, yeah, this guy was, uh, was a problem and this is why and, and that will kill your chances. So most people will happily give you a reference if you've done a fairly good job. Um, go through it yourself. If you've, if you've got the opportunity, ask to edit it slightly and polish it. With family and friends, if you go to them with um, a reference you've written and ask them to sign it, they'll be relieved because they don't want to go to the trouble. If you've printed one off and just say, uh, just read through it, make sure it's fair, sign at the bottom, most people go, done, job done. So there are some of the references in the book to give you an idea of what works and what doesn't. And mostly it's going to come down to experience of the world around you and, and knowing that most people um, don't give the truth Instead, they try and give their version of it. And it's as simple as that. Once you can learn that trick, uh, a lot of this falls into place. Everybody's trying to give the best impression of themselves or the best impression of the people they care about. You've got to be able to see through that and find out what's real and not what you think you see. See what's real, not what you think you see. And then the world will be a better place. Okay, back to real Jack. <laughs>